watchtower. And as the uh, as your outside consultant, I went over the article quite thoroughly. And uh, what I'm giving you is is my review. Now, uh, what I appreciate is the fact that I am a consultant and uh, not an apostate. So this is, this is really good. We'll talk about this in a bit. So thanks, brothers. I think you guys did a really wonderful job of this article. It starts out here in 1922, 100 years ago. I thought you brothers really did a nice job uh, highlighting Rutherford, the founder of the Rutherford trance that everyone's in. I thought that's really excellent. You did a nice job there talking about the Ohio conventions. And we know that Rutherford, this is all his ideologies were all under. So, so it's excellent. You did a nice job. It's good that you brought that back up. Uh, study article 41, you can find true happiness. Of course, you can only find happiness in JW.org, in the Watchtower, in the truth as we know it, which is our, your religion not really mine i'm a consultant but your religion but i'm with you on this study 42 happier those who keep integrity all those pictures of people who are faithful all over the world faithful to the the religion that you guys are promoting rutherford which is really this the what this article started out with rutherford so that's great and then article study 43, true wisdom is crying aloud. This I thought, we're going to go into that article. I thought you guys did a wonderful job nailing out the apostates and the critical thinkers because they're all online and they're all targeting at us. So it's excellent that you guys brought this out. And then I go on to the, keep your Christian hope strong. This is an excellent article. Long as we're attending meetings, watchtowers, online, everything, uh, this, is, this is the only method. And I thought the pictures were good. I, I thought this ancient Israel fought wars. I thought the pictures were really good. A lot of credits to the art gallery and building those war pictures in heaven. Really nice job. Because a lot of the publishers just read pictures. And we know that we can catch them and keep them in the Rutherford trance with the pictures. But let's go to this article. We're going to go to this article, 43, True Wisdom. And I'm going to read this. How can we safeguard ourselves from following the course of ridiculers? One way is to avoid associating with those who show a critical attitude. And then it says to read Psalms 1 and 1. And it just talks about ridiculers. I read it. You know, like people poking fun. But this, I, I like how you stuck in the critical attitude bit here. So now we get uh, all the publishers and all the flock um, really opposed to these the critical thinkers. Because this means that we do not listen to or read anything from apostates. That's, that's, that's excellent how you guys twisted that scripture there in Psalms 1 and 1 to do that. But, you know, they're going to, people will buy into it. Everyone buys into this stuff. Long as it's in print, it's from Rutherford. It's uh, through Rutherford Trance. It's, it's from Jehovah. Absolutely. So um, I thought you guys did a really good job of this article, mainly this here part that I highlighted. Now, one of the concerns I have, brothers, um, you know, some of the some of the class A, group A ones, you know, the ones that really study these articles, they might be looking on the website and they might draw some question marks. And I'm going to walk you brothers through it. I did some searching on the website. Now, you talked about ridiculers in this article. Uh, so I went to the website and just I plugged in Catholic because I know we ridicule the Catholics a lot and um, um, I didn't realize it was that blatant I didn't even go into the article it says a Catholic dilemma the Catholic Church is currently facing two problems in connection with the devil uh, I thought that's pretty yeah I didn't even read the article it's right there you guys are throwing it right out there so I don't know, this ridiculer one, uh, people are going to look at this and call us ridiculers for ridiculing other religions, like the Catholics. But let's carry on. I did some more searching, and I searched critical thinkers here. I just plugged it into the website, and up comes these two articles, Philosophy from the Scriptures, and then and then How Should I Take construct cr Constructive Criticism. So I looked that one up. And it's all about critical thinking. Uh, how should I take constructive criticism? Test yourself. It's important to review things. Even the Bible says when we're seeking and looking at things, that we look at things with a critical eye. Make sure it's the truth. And that the Bible even tells us, this, there's lots of scriptures here, 
why do I need constructive or to be critical or have critical thinking back at me or you brothers having critical thinking back at you from the outside? This is going to come back at you. It's because you're not perfect. And you brothers know that you're not perfect, even though you have all of God's direction on earth. That's no doubt. But you're still not perfect. And because you can do better. So just as you're always getting new light, you brothers, you're always getting new light from Jehovah. You can do better. That's because you need critical thinking. So I don't know. I would either delete this article off of the Watchtower website, like just get rid of it. So when you plug in critical thinking, it goes to apostate. Have a, have a circle. Change the website, critical thinking. When people plug that in, it says, beware apostate. Use that Psalms 1 and 1 scripture you guys were using about foolish ridiculers. That, that, that will fool most people. So that's my advice. Get rid of this article out of your website. I've been doing some more research. There's a time for everything. That last article you guys had on war, uh, fighting wars, you're going to have to get rid of this stuff because this is there's conflict. There's a time for everything under the sun. And I see some contradictions in what the Bible says right on your website. So I think you're going to have to start deleting things, get your, get your team working a little closer on this, brothers. But as a consultant, and I'm so glad I'm not an apostate, but as a consultant, yeah, you're kind of pointing in the right direction. Keep up the good work, brothers. Bye for now.